hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in this series i'm going to create a start a new project uh, it's called kitty versus mag so uh, basically it's a small game that uh, i showed you in my previous video so if you haven't watched my previous video the link will be in the description and also if you want to uh, know more about the functionalities of this game you can uh, search flicky chicky on play store and on app store to uh, get the idea of what we are going to build in this series so uh, right now i have some assets in my uh, assets folder you can see that we have uh, an sprite sheet of cat chicken and we have some uh, coins animation and we have some uh, tile set for our game and all the assets uh, that you can see here are uh, free to use and you can find it on uh, google uh, easily but i will put the link of these asset in the description of this video you can download it from there so uh, i suggest you uh, to watch the first video uh, of this series in which i showed how what kind of game we are going to build in this series so uh, to start you have to create a new 2d project uh, and uh, you have to import all the required assets in your assets folder now after that in the cat folder you can see that this is our main player and we have uh, many animations heart idle jump running etc so i want you to uh, drag this idle sprite drag and drop it into the hierarchy as you can see that here we have this sprite and now after that you need to go to the animation window and here you will find a button called create go ahead and click on this create button to uh, create a new animation name your animation anything you like and press save now after that i you have to select all these idle sprites so these are 10 sprites and just drag and drop it into this animation window so actually you have to select your character let me uh, zoom it out and just drag them so this is actually not working so uh, you don't have to select this controller just select these file and drag and drop them into this animation now if i play this so i already have a character let me disable that and now if i play you will see that we have our animation but it's playing very fast so i we can slow it down in from this samples and i'm going to change it to 20. now if i play this now you can see that we have a very nice and smooth animation here so uh, actually i have uh, done this so let me so here you can see that we have our idle sprite similarly we can uh, create other animations like jump run and walking animation so uh, what you need to do is again click here 
and uh, you can see that I have three animations already idle jump and running and we are going to create a new clip so click on create new clip and uh, I am going to name it death kitty death and I am going to save it in our kitty animations folder now for uh, now we are going to drag all these dead sprites and drag and drop it in here so uh, make the sample for all the animations to 20 and now if i play you can see that we are dying now click ctrl s to save this animation into your folder so here you can see that now we have our death animation similarly go ahead and create jump and running animation for your character now after that what we are going to do is we have to uh, tag our player so we are going to tag it to player and we are going to add a box collider on our character and you can uh, change the size of collector if you click on edit collider and you can uh, resize it from here and also we need a rigid body on this character to detect collisions with other objects so uh, we you can add a rigid body 2d from this add component so basically rigid body is to detect the collisions and uh, to apply force on our uh, character and uh, uh, up to apply gravity gravitational force so now after attaching a rigid body what you need to do is we have uh, created a small tile here so this tile you can find it in our green tiles folder and inside tiles you will find all of these tiles <coughs> so uh, just drag it into your scene window and make a small tile like that so i have already done that in our tile so you can see that we have our this tile and this is our second tile and this is our third tile now i have all uh, after adding these three tiles you can see that we have another object called tile so what you can do is go to create and create an empty game object and call it tile and now uh, drag all of these into ch uh, tile child so i have already than that right here now select the tile and add a box collider 2d onto it and you can always uh, uh, resize it by uh, going to uh, edit collider and we can edit that and so uh, we don't have to add three colliders on each single of them instead we can create a parent object and just put one collider in here and also we have tagged it to tile so you can go to add tag and uh, uh, in on this small plus button you can click on it and put tile here save it now again go to your tile and select your tile from there so now if i play the game You can see that we have our character but it's flickering so we can fix that by going to our kitty and on the z-axis put it to minus one so a negative value will put it in front of the tile so if we uh, now play the game hopefully the flickering will be gone so as you can see that we have a nice 
animation so uh, that's it for this video and i will see you in my next video